Hello, this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks. Today we're going to uh, discuss a new Iridium product called the Access Point Wi-Fi device, which enhances the use of Iridium uh, handsets. Um, Iridium recently announced a new product called the Iridium Access Point Wi-Fi Hotspot. Uh, here's a picture of it connected to an Iridium 9575, which is also a new phone that was um, announced at the same time that the Wi-Fi Hotspot was released. Uh, this device, which um, is a small cigarette pack-sized piece of hardware, uh, provides several advantages uh, when using Iridium for data. For one, it's a Wi-Fi hotspot, so it allows you to connect directly to the device using the Wi-Fi on your computer, which allows a number of different computers without USB ports to be connected to Iridium. Also, it removes the a requirement to install any kind of drivers on your computers. If you've done driver installations for Iridium before, you know that that can be painful and uh, a very um, frustrating um, aspect of getting your satellite phone working on your computer. So having this device removes the requirement for having the USB connected directly to your computer. Uh, the USB cable for the phone gets correct connected directly to the Wi-Fi access point device and then you use your computer's Wi-Fi to connect to it. Uh, so the other major advantage of having this device is that it has a built-in firewall which means that when you use it with the Iridium Access Point mail-in web software package which we will review shortly in another video all traffic to the internet gets blocked except for compression-based web browsing and compression-based email. Uh, that's important because in this modern day computers uh, want to access the internet and so you have a number of different processes the operating systems themselves which want to access the internet which causes traffic which um, removes performance or reduces performance on your narrow band expensive satellite connection so uh, there are two major advantages for this device one is the Wi-Fi connectivity and the lack of the installation the lack of requirement of USB drivers and the second one is the fact that it has a firewall built in and it'll protect you from uh, data that is not uh, pertinent to your particular session the third uh, thing that is really nice is that um, uh, we also have an application, Access Point Mail and Web, which runs on iPhones, iPods, and iPads, which means that those devices which don't have USB connectivity can now be used for doing data over Iridium. So to be able to use this device, um, there's a number of requirements. One, you need to purchase the device. The device retails for under $200 and it's sold through Iridium Partners. You also need to have an account with Iridium um, to use the Access Point mail and web software. So in this next phase, uh, what we'll do is we'll um, go ahead and walk you through the registration process because you need to have an account with Iridium before you can use the software. Uh, one last note before we go on and start the technical section of this uh, presentation is that um, this uh, Iridium Wi-Fi hotspot does not require software to use. As it comes from the factory, you can just uh, open it up, plug your Iridium phone into it, and turn it on. As soon as you do that, the device is immediately going to establish a connection to the Internet, and any computer can connect to the Wi-Fi hotspot and do Internet access through the phone. So um, it's not required to have the software. However, keep in mind that this is a fairly slow link. It runs a 2400 baud. Uh, any software that you've got on your computer that wants access to the Internet, Windows updates, for example, and so forth, are going to try to use a specific device. And so um, unless you've got the software installed, unless you've got access point mail and web installed on your computer your performance is going to suffer tremendously the other thing also is that by default this device wants to keep you connected to the internet at all times unless you've got access point mail and web installed and consequently you can drive some pretty high airtime bills and so that's our number one technical support question or issue is people buy this device they plug it in the phone goes online and it stays online so just Keep in mind that once you install the Access Point Mail and Web software and you do your first session with Access Point Web and Mail software, it's going to reprogram the device so that uh, it doesn't go online at all 
unless you hit the go button in the software. So the very first thing the device does is when you do your very first session, it uh, reprograms the firewall on the device so that it blocks everything except mail and web. The default is to have it totally open. It also changes the device so that it doesn't go online automatically. It changes it into a manual mode that takes the device online only when you need to do an email session or only when you want to browse with compression. As soon as you close the browser or your email session is complete, then the uh, the link will be dropped. And so that's a much preferable way to do data over Iridium than um, than to have uh, the default setting using using standard internet programs. So let's move on to the next phase, which is to how to register this device on the internet. Uh, Iridium Access Point mail and web software uh, registered. And then in the next video, we'll show you how to actually install that on an iPad uh, and use it. And in the third video, we'll focus on a specific application, which is how to download weather on an iPad using Access Point mail and web software. So let's um, move on to the next uh, section here. Um, so what we want to do is um, in order to gain, gain access to this service, which by the way is free, Iridium Office offers Access Point mail and web at no charge. Um, you need to go to the Iridium website and register to use a service and if you're using a, a Mac or a Windows machine uh, you'll download the software from the iridium.com website. Uh, if you're using an iPad uh, or an iOS device uh, you will be required to use iTunes in order to download the software. So here we are at www.iridium.com and uh, we want to go register the device. Well, there's a nice little link right here at the bottom of the page which says Iridium Access Point Wi-Fi Solutions. If you click on that, um, it'll describe what the, what the offering is and there's a button down here that says get more details and if you click on that, it'll take you to the page which describes the service and you'll notice that there's a button there that says register for service. So that's right here at the very first one in the link. Uh, if for some reason um, that link at the bottom of their home page uh, disappears. You can always get to it by going to products and Iridium Wi-Fi solutions and that will take you to the same page. So to register for the service what you do is you click on the register button. There it is. And that will take you to a form that you're required to fill out before you can uh, receive your free access point mail and web account. Several things here. Uh, you need to have an Iridium airtime account so you'll be required to enter the phone number for your Iridium phone. Also you need to have an access point Wi-Fi device so you'll need to enter the MAC address for your Iridium access point device itself. You'll find the MAC address on a label stuck on the back of the unit. So if, you, if you're doing this real time go get your unit and uh, find the MAC address so that you can enter it into the form. So I've already pre-filled the form and so just for expediency purposes I'm going to create a, a demo account here called GMN2. I've entered my phone number, I've entered my MAC address and then I'll hit submit. As soon as I do that the registration process will commence and you'll get a notice that says your username has been, your, your username is whatever you specified and the account has been created. You will now receive an email uh, that confirms that your account is now open with your username and your password. And that's all that's required to create the account. So any Iridium subscriber can um, apply for one of these accounts. The accounts are opened uh, real time and the account will stay active for one year from the time of last use. So uh, there's no hurry to use this account right away. You can create the account anytime that is convenient for you and then uh, start using it. Just be aware that if your account lies idle for a year, it'll be expunged from the system and you'll need to recreate a new account. Anyway, that concludes our first video on how to register for the service and in our next video we'll uh, go ahead and talk about iOS and how to uh, install the software and use the software on your iOS device. So for now uh, take care and this is Lewis at Global Marine Networks wishing you a good day.